Harry, I don't know if you're aware of this, in LA, there is a beautiful monument. Are you, do you, have you, are you familiar with the monument commemorating? Is it, is, this, is it the puke thing? It's the puke thing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Harry Styles <laughs> threw up here. And apparently, it was, it was a few years ago, but they're replacing it. When it gets that, if it ever rains, they replace it, the fans, with the thing. And is it true? Did you throw up there? Uh, I did throw up there, yeah. <laughs> um, I think my mum put that sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it, like that is so odd. It's, it's interesting, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little niche, maybe. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean they're amazing. Yeah. Because all, all those say. no, because all those people on eBay selling your 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 air, it, the air you. I didn't know what you were going to say there. Now for a second. <laughs> <laughs> selling your vomit, it comes into the bottles. You know? <laughs> Harry, there you go. Harry vomit. <laughs> That smell, and what did you do with your pocket money? <laughs> <laughs> that journey, you must reflect on your journey because when you were a little kid, obviously you went to the Brit school, but even before that, you were a little kid watching the oh, Brits. I, yeah, I, I've always loved the Brit Awards, yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy, and I kind of have to switch off from, from that, otherwise, it's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it freaks me out a little bit. But... I love there's a picture you posted of you as a little girl uh, with your Spice Girls post. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I was also really into Five. Do you remember Five? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that a I microphone know. or a sausage no, no, or a what? Sausage. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Spice Girls, I, they were so massive. They had all this merch. I think it was a chuppa chuppa, whatever it's called. Well, a, a chupa, lollipop chupa. sort they of call... thing. Chuppa yeah. chuppa? Chuppa chuppa. Chuppa chuppa, chuppa. chuppa, yeah, the ones with what the little called? tic tac -y things on. No, just the lollipop. Oh, lollipop. oh Jim? <laughs> Jim? Chuppa chuppa? chuppa. <laughs> no, chuppa no, chuppa. Pass me by. And you take out. Oh, chop yeah. yeah, that's what that is. Oh, yeah. Of course yeah. it is. Or yeah. maybe a dog dog chain cot. You know, like when you get your name written on it. Yeah. Or a sun dried tomato. Or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or a sausage. <laughs> I'm quite sure it's the um it's the lollipop. Which uh, spice girl were you? Uh, ginger, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very vague. Very. Yeah. And uh, you were also a fan of Gabrielle. Love Gabrielle, I still do, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yes. Oh, there she is! My mother made me one of those eye patches when I could jump the fire. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> and it, was the, well, it was one of her songs, was the first song I ever sang live. It, it, my first ever, like, standing, oh, it was so embarrassing. But um, I, I took the mic off rather than on <laughs> at school and I sang Rise uh, oh, with the wow. school choir, yeah, and I was singing the lead. And it, so, yes, yeah, she's one of the lovers of me. Oh, love. Does Matthew know that he plays a special part in your life? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> Please, I play a special part in your life. Yeah. Can't wait to hear this. Tell us. Well, I mean, I, my wife and I sleep with you. Almost every night. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and every night there's a, an app called Calm. And I have insomnia. And he has the most beautiful voice. Mm. And I turn it on and I just hear, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Matthew McConaughey. I'm going to tell you a bedtime story. And I just do this, oh. <laughs> The God, truth about it is my wife, who's from Argentina, she always goes like, you have the man talking again. <laughs> <laughs> the man is talking in the bed again, Mike. <laughs> it's great, though. I love this. It cost me 80 bucks. <laughs> it, was well, it was well worth it. Have you No, no, we've got a little bit, because I just thought it was you reading stories, but you are actually putting people to bed. This is, this is Matthew McConaughey on the app. But tonight, I hope to send you off to peaceful dreams with that very thing in mind. <laughs> Let your eyes close and your breath fall soft and slow as we begin our story, which just might rekindle that sense of wonder. Oh. <laughs> wake up, wake up. I'm sorry, I would just like to say, <laughs> I am the biggest Game of Thrones fan in the entire world. <laughs> and my heart, literally, there's a reason why I'm the only red wine on this table. And it's because I'm just freaking out to me. <laughs> oh. I literally been talking, everybody, I'm such a fan of everybody here, but I, I went through a Game of Thrones, like literally finished all eight seasons in a month this year. Whoa. Wow. wow. Do you know That's how, like... That's so impressive. Would you like to stroke Jason Momoa's coat? <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
we should say uh, Liar is out now, but the album Romance, not out yet. Nope, not out yet. Is there a date? Soon. There is not, but coming very soon. Soon. Yep, yep, yep. Soon is the date. Yeah. Fans love to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine approaching Christmas it might come out. I, I don't know why I think that. <laughs> no, no, uh, I don't want to. Is it true that you wrote a lot of songs for this album? I mean, I don't stop writing, ever. So, like, I'm writing my next record now. Pro I've probably written, like, 20 songs already for the next record. So I just keep going and going and going. So it's over, over 100 songs, I'd say, per album. Who do you play them to first? Who, where do you get your feedback from? Uh, I play them to my team, and then I play them to my my mum and my dad and my sisters, and they're ruthless. <laughs> Absolutely ruthless. I think established that <laughs> yeah. the family is quite ruthless. Yeah. Yeah. But do you, so does you, do you have sort of songs fizzing around in your head all the time? Yeah, yeah. And I've, is yeah. it tunes and then words, or does it, or it, is it just words and tune all together? It, it's melodies for me. Like this, the last two years I've been just trying to really tap into the trade of being like a top line or a melody writer. So it's just melodies. Sometimes I get a bit drunk and just sing some songs in my phone and... Yeah. Yeah, and then just go to the studio and then listen back and... <laughs> they're, ah! they're, they're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> they're not very good. <laughs> With the bar, awful. Where's my Uber? It was supposed to be three minutes. I'm so looking forward to hearing the whole album. Um, and thank you so much for that beautiful thank performance. Uh, Sam Smith, everybody. <laughs> Yay! You seem like one of those people who's good at this bit. Like you're you like chatting, you're you know, so thank you. Yeah, so it's kind of yeah, That's don't nice don't go you. hiding. Mind you, having said that, uh, Interviews not, don't always go well. Tell us about the uh, interview with the Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, so that was, it was a kind of a weird kind of all day interview? Yeah, so when Rolling Stone does a cover story, it's like they, they hang out, you know, you hang out with this journalist for a couple days and they just, you just hang out. If you drive around, they're sitting there. If you go to lunch, we hang, it's like a thing. And it was a huge deal for me to have a cover of Rolling Stone. It still is, like for me, that's like, oh, like, it's a big yeah. angel singing moment. And so, of course, like, I was just like, be your best self today. Like, be, mm -hmm. like if you're gonna drive, you drive the best you've driven. <laughs> like, if you're gonna, like, and also you're like, how do I be real and not like pre be pretending to be real? Like, when I'm clearly like, I know this is a journalist, like, <laughs> ugh. But through all that, I was just like, okay, so I'm gonna take him on a day that I, it's this journalist named Brian Hyatt who's the coolest and like, Take him on a day, I'm going to rehearsals, it's normal, and I'm just gonna drive him, because that's what I normally do. Be your best self at driving. And I got in two car accidents <gasps> <laughs> with him in the car. Oh. One was my fault, one was not. One was an I'm sorry, the second one was a you're welcome, I saved your life. <laughs> he got side swiped, but I was like, <laughs> I was fully panicking, and when we got sideswiped, I think he screamed out something like, I have a new baby at home! <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is not gonna be a good cover story for me. Like, this is gonna be good for people reading it, but not for me. He nearly killed me in a Mustang once, and I was thinking the same thing. I've got a baby at home. Exactly. Yeah, it's, I think it might be your first thought. I, I'm like, I have three cats! <laughs> it's not the same.